Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to a new series on my channel, Versus Battle. I know a lot of people do versus battles and stuff like that. My good friend Kirotaku, Screw Attack, and many others. And I wanted to start this series. It's going to probably be a monthly thing on the channel. Just because a lot of people think that All Might is like super strong and he could be Saitama. And I'm going to give it to you with a straight fact. So. One for all is the quirk of All Might. It's a very powerful quirk and it's a strength enhancing quirk, meaning it enhances your strength by a lot. The quirk has been shown to go over 100%. The user could actually go over 100% of their power, but it takes a heavy toll on their body and exhausts them gravely. Um, sometimes the quirk could even pass a million percent. So just state that, just stating that right now. So. I'm not going to be talking about All Might in his prime or anything like that against Saitama because we're talking about the current characters, Saitama versus All Might. So Saitama, he defeated all of the villains in his, all of the monsters, villains, whatever you want to call them, in his world with one punch except one, Lord Boros, which was from space, um, the strongest space, I guess, alien you could say, Lord Boros landed on Earth. Saitama actually has to get serious a little bit. If I were to estimate how much of his power Saitama used, I would say 20 to 25% of his power because he did use a serious punch to defeat Lord Boros. And basically, that's it. Like everything else throughout the series, even in the manga, which I'm not gonna spoil, everything has been a breeze for Saitama. Defeated SSS class monsters with one punch as well, which is really crazy because that's the highest threat monster um i believe in the hero association like besides like god level or something like that which probably could destroy galaxies so that right there shows that saitama is very powerful but not only that saitama jumped from the moon back to the earth which is an amazing feat in itself i'm not saying all oh, might can't do that but he might not be able to do that in my personal eyes he might he, he probably won't be able to do that another feat from Saitama is that he's a regular human he did basic training and got that powerful while All Might he's very powerful because his quirk is a strength and enhancing quirk so that's right there a difference between Saitama and All Might Saitama in my eyes right now is a planetary level threat meaning that he could destroy planets of any size because Boros almost did an attack that could have wiped out the earth and Saitama defeated that attack plus killed Lord Boros. So that right there shows the, how powerful Saitama is. On the other hand, All Might has some feats. He defeated a villain called One for All. Um, a lot of people could say that's the most powerful villain. I'll, I'll say he is. One, all for, I said One for All. All for One, he defeated Nomu, which had a super regeneration quirk which is very hard to deal with because Nomu's arm could get cut off and stuff like that and boom at the blink of an eye it could regenerate so that was an amazing feat and he's the number one hero in his world world currently which is a big feat because there is a lot a lot of heroes not only in Japan in this um, My Hero Academia world but all around and he's the number one hero. He's the pillar of hope, the symbol of peace. While on the other hand, Saitama is a C-class hero, which is not really that high on the ranks, but he still has amazing feats. So now comparing their feats, I think Saitama's record is better because we have seen more fights with him. While All Might, he has defeated a lot of strong villains, but they do not compare, for example, All For One will not be able to um, defeat Lord Boros. Uh, no, no, impossible. Like The worlds just differ too much. The scaling is too far apart. In my personal opinion, the monsters in One Punch Man, they, give a lot, they could give a lot of pro heroes a run for their money and they could kill them easily because even right now in the One Punch Man manga, the S-Class heroes are getting their butts kicked by some monsters here and there, so... And that's like the strongest of the strongest, the S-Class heroes, plus the number one S-Class hero, which... Yeah, I'm not gonna go too in-depth into that. So, in terms of strength, Saitama gets the point. 
All Might loses in that category against Saitama. I, I think Saitama is stronger than All Might. Saitama, another thing, Saitama has never gotten serious in a fight. He is bored. After fighting Boros and defeating Boros, he said, oh man, I thought I would last longer than that. And I didn't go all out. Even Boros was like, as Boros was dying, he asked Saitama, do you, do you try? And then Saitama was like, no, not really. Something along those lines. So right there and then, it shows that Saitama doesn't really try when he fights. While on the other hand, All Might, when he fought Nomu, he was trying his hardest to defeat Nomu. So strength-wise, goes to Saitama. Now, durability. Saitama and All Might could both take a pounding. But to tell you the truth, Saita okay, Saitama took hits from the Deep Sea King on the head and stuff, and he didn't move an inch. An inch, he didn't. He doesn't move an inch when it's really strong monster or whoever attacks him. While on the other hand, All Might, when he was fighting Nomu and got hit with a barrage of punches, he was durable, but he moved backwards a little bit. Like, he, his body was moving a little bit because of the punches. But on the other hand, Saitama gets, could get punched up multiple times in the face or whatever in your head, and he doesn't move. So right there, durability, it goes to Saitama. Now, the last thing I could say, no, two more things. Speed. Saitama's speed is ridiculous. All Might's speed is ridiculous. So I give both of them a point. And intelligence. All Might has some beat in that area. But even though All Might might have more categories, one, it doesn't mean he's going to win. Like, the strength, it, it all comes back to strength. No matter how fast you are, example, Saitama versus Sonic. Um... Um, not Sonic, I forgot the name of that fast It's something along those lines. Um, it, it doesn't matter to Saitama. He's just gonna out, out strength you, basically. Saitama's planetary level, All Might, at most, I could see All Might destroying a mountain. That's it. So, Saitama's planetary level, All Might is mountain level, and right there, what's stronger? A person that could destroy a planet. Or a person that could destroy a mountain. So that's it for now. Hope you don't get too salty about this versus battle. And I'm out. Peace.